Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I just got the ASRock OC Formula RX 6950 XT. This is the latest high-end GPU from AMD, and it is a thick boy for sure. Um, triple fan, or triple slot design, triple fan, of course. Now the fans are about 97 millimeters. The thickness of the GPU is about 58, 57. I uh, just measured it on the caliper, and it's definitely very thick. Very interesting to see ASRock have this kind of vented opening, not only up here at the top where the GPU is facing you, but also on the bottom side here. And of course, we got the cutout in the back side, just like we've seen with much of the NVIDIA series. Honeycomb design, this backplate actually looks very nice. LED on, off switch. Uh, we can see from this section here, we got the RGB header, the fan header, and I'm sure there's another one on the other side. But this, this guy is definitely super chunky. Um, will it be enough to cool these GPUs? Because just from what I've seen already between Gamers Nexus and some of our faves, uh, these cards do get pretty toasty. But it's just amazing what we have come from with these GPUs, right? So, I mean, looking at the size of this GPU, I would not imagine this is what we would end up being coming from, you know, the ATI days, right? ATI, AMD, going from these small heat sinks, small fans to what they are now. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, technology is getting a lot better. Is that a bio switch right there? It is. Ooh, we got to do a bio switch. PQ, so performance and quiet. Okay, nice, got a little bit of dust on it already. Um, and the heat sink is actually pretty chunky too. So usually ASRock, especially on the Challenger for the 5700 series, they had a tiny heat sink, but a bigger shroud. It was kind of very disappointing. Now it looks like the heat sink will match the overall size of this car, triple eight pin, which eventually is gonna get swapped out, uh, you know, in future revisions or future GPU uh, updates from AMD, which is obviously going to be the ATX 3.0 standard where we got the 12 or 16 pin, you know, going basically to, uh, you know, this guy right here. So eventually the eight pins are going to be replaced with these either 12 or 16 pin uh, adapters or connectors. And then that's going to allow us to get even more power out of these GPUs. What is going to be needed to power these GPUs? Who's to say, but this is definitely um, a big GPU. How power hungry is it? We'll have to find out. Inside the box, by the way, uh, you just obviously get your little styrofoam and all your goodness. And then it comes with a GPU sag bracket as well. Nothing too crazy. Has a little ASRock branding on it. So something to help you hold this senior girth up from falling down and stuff or bending in your rig. Uh, obviously, that's pretty much it for what's in the packaging itself. So just a lot of card, a lot of heat sink, triple fan design, triple eight pin, uh, bio, dual bio switch, LED cutoff uh, switch, and just super thick boy. I would say this thing weighs about 15 pounds, if that. Um, obviously, it can integrate with some of the RGB in our systems. Um, and here, of course, are the specs. 16 gigabytes of 256-bit GDDR6, not 6X. Uh, we got triple display port, 1.4 and 1 HDMI 2.1 VRR. Uh, it's obviously been boosted up, a little bit more efficient than the 6900 XT. And I just wanna know what it does from a compute standpoint. So that's pretty much it gonna, on this video. I will be trying to do a live stream if it's not out already by the time you're watching this. So make sure to check back for that. Uh, but do me a favor, on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description that help support the channel. But also follow me on Twitter, stay up to date, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.